snow falls and the wind goes There are no walls where the land froze There's black spruce and jack pine Hard rock and it's all mine And nothing beats a trail to travel farther every day I'd rather have lake and trees and rock than I hide away Southern box. All right, so we're uh, getting ready to head out to the trap line. Silas has all our boxes uh, ready to go. We put the bait and the trap in them already. Got a coyote there, some links for bait. And got the old entice there running. And look, check this out. Brand new tires on the Sequoia. Really burned me to spend uh, 800 bucks on tires on a $1,300 vehicle, but uh, sick of fixing flats and you know, downtime is pretty crazy. So if it enables us to get another dozen Martin, probably worth it. You see these tires on this trailer. Wicked cracked and old, so we're gonna change those two. Got a couple of tire assemblies yesterday, so just gonna put the new tires on and then we'll be in action. Well, we're um, heading out finally, got everything ready. We, um, the tires on the trailer. And batted down. Trap box. Put the chainsaw outside. I'll try to remember to show you, but the sled is filled, filled right to the absolute brim. So, ready, side. Let's go. So it's kind of a pleasant surprise to find out that uh, someone has been doing some work in here this winter. Looks like they brought in a cat. Um, brushing up their line so there's a creek down in here this is a grazing lease so it's crown land it belongs to the government but uh, you know you can get permission to graze on it and lease it just like your trap line works kind of we've got a full skimmer here I'm gonna hopefully make some room to get the chainsaw in soon Stretching out behind me is a record of my own. I'd rather red wolf and pink and fox and hide away in a chip rock box. Just uh, reviewing our sets from Tuesday here. We have Put out. How many did we put out on Tuesday? Like 19, I think. And so we had the one plastic, one left over. We did all these in the dark. Of course, I don't think the weather has been the best because uh, these first five, we got nothing the yet. Rings so not a great sign, but falls. we'll see. The dead wood rains and falls. We still got lots to check. And just beyond the cotton, it's 38 below. I'd rather red lake and trees and rock than a highway in a southern box. And I smile when the snow lies deep.
not sure if my camera turned on quick enough, but we just had a small group of elk cross the trail. No, oh, maybe 30, 40 yards in front of us. That was cool. That was probably a moose at first, but hmm? I thought it. I was assuming it was going to be a moose at first, but yeah, it me was. Yeah, because when I saw the first one in the bush. Yeah. yeah. But it was elk. How many did you see? I saw two, but. Yeah, I saw two. Hmm. Yeah, definitely lots of game in here. I was just, I was just telling Silas that uh, if we get a Martin, we can stop and have a snack and snack time. Nice big one. The male, fresh still, not frozen. And so I was just getting it uh, set up, ready to go again. And then we're going to have ourselves a snacky snack. It's probably almost 3 o'clock here. So uh, usually when it's sprung, but there's nothing sticking out of the box, that means we got something small, either a weasel or a squirrel. Let's see what we got. She's a weasel. Getting a little bit yellow, but uh, it wasn't going anywhere. These 120 blouse are a little hard on weasels. I'm not sure if it's just because the weasels are smaller baits in boxes. So they always try and take the weasel carcass. They try to take it out of the carcass? Out of the box? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, caught our bait and the bait stealer at the same time. So that's a uh, old weasel carcass by the end of the day on Tuesday we were running out of bait and this guy's fresh yet I think nice game kill you can see they uh, he's got some lice Ooh. Some more white one, then. smells the Martin magic on the bait or what oh, I just opened oh you opened it oh yeah relure it um, yeah, and then put a put a little more bait in there. And mix it up a little bit, but yeah, a weasel will catch a weasel. All right, you can see the fresh tracks. They're different than the ones that were made before it melted and got hot. And uh, voila, there he is. So uh, I usually don't put boxes this way, but uh, in this case. Um, we're down to the plastic ones and it's much easier and faster with the plastic ones to put them this way. Less wiring required, the bait doesn't fall out. And if you put it under a spruce tree, it doesn't fill with snow. But I happen to know we basically have no snow forecasted till the end of Martin season anyways. That's a good sized male, eh? Yep. I wasn't sure at first, but yeah, nothing wrong with that. Awesome.
and we found a big mess here. Someone is clearing lines for their grazing lease, which is fine, but uh, a little hard on the sled. If you notice, my uh, back rack just fell off. It had broke earlier, or cracked, but now it's broke complete off. So hopefully we don't lose our trap box. We'll have to keep an eye on it bungeed on. But uh, I was just saying to Silas, maybe we'll build a uh, bigger box. We can fit more stuff that'll take up the space where the rack was. And now we got a little dirt mobiling to do. So we were, uh, can you see me? I don't know if it'll work, but um, driving along, I heard this crazy noise. Like, what in the world? Thought maybe my truck box head fell off or something, but uh, said we were running over this beautiful moose antler. Real nice and dark. That's fresh, fresh. That just fell off not long ago at all. So, a blood on it. Sweet. Well, there you go. Add that to the collection. Well, uh, just about ran over another antler. There's still some blood on this one, too. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, eh? Mm -hmm. Cool, some really steep hills here. A little worried about getting back up, but I'm going to play it out a little bit further. See where it goes. Take that in the collection. Not bad, three antlers in the last two checks. Alright, so it is almost 11 o'clock and we're just starting the second line in the 11 p.m. obviously. And boom, better luck than the first line. So, oh, that's a nice big male. So we had one here last time as well, so that's good. Box number four on the new line and we are batting 50%, so that's sweet. So this is the one last time that we caught a Martin in and the bake compartment was knocked open and bait stolen and this time this time not so much so yeah we had uh, no bait left last time so we ended up using a squirrel uh, that we got caught but that the trap kind of mangled so and the bait compartment is open again this time probably robbed again that's what happens is another martin comes along uh, and takes the bait. We gotta fix these lids. All right, so the very next box. I like the spot. Looks like a big one too, eh? Yep. Awesome. So that's how many on the day now, Si? Two from the other line. How many on this line now? Uh, I think four. Four. Two on the other. Technically, it's the next day because it's after midnight, but. Uh, so it's where this is number six today? Yeah. All right. Not too bad, we're paying for all the stuff we broke. I'm not sure if I showed you I broke the windshield. May or may not have tipped this could do right over. That looks like a good catch. Yeah, it seems like these boxes, for whatever reason, are catching them lower than the other boxes. Not sure why. Well, it's a little past 1.30 and we're driving back in a blizzard. It actually just died down a little bit, so it's not too bad, but uh, very glad we're getting some snow. It should improve uh, the snowmobiling situation and uh, maybe even more importantly, just be able to the tracks easier the fresh ones because uh, yeah it hasn't snowed